Mode 12 provides the global configuration menu. Here you can configure Tetrapad's pressure response to match your preferences. This mode uses the same output setup as fader mode with the outputs arranged in pairs for each pad with position on the left and pressure on the right. This lets you quickly test different settings with your fader mode patches to discover what works best. The first knob chooses the parameter to edit. One is pressure response curve, two is pressure filter amount, and three is touch sensitivity. There are four pressure response curve settings, square, linear, exponential, and logarithmic, with number one, square, as the default. Number four, logarithmic, will produce more of an on-off effect. This is useful if you want to toggle things or trigger gates when you touch a pad. Other settings sweep more gradually from lower to higher values. Parameter 2, Pressure Filter Amount, changes how sensitive Tetrapad is to changes in pressure, and how quickly it will react to these changes. There are 12 pressure filter settings, with the higher ones being more sensitive to changes in pressure. 7 is the default. Parameter 3, Touch Sensitivity, determines how light or hard you need to press the pads to hit the minimum and maximum pressure values. Higher numbers are more sensitive to the touch of your finger, but slightly less sensitive to its position, while lower numbers are less sensitive to touch, but more sensitive to position. Again, there are 12 settings with 7 as the default. If you want to reset these settings back to default, you can enter Mode Select, scroll to 12, hold Shift, and press the white Mode Select button or any encoder. Just note that this will reset not only the global configuration settings, but all settings for all of your modes. Individual modes can be reset to default by selecting them from the Mode Select menu while holding Shift.